Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. During today's tutorial I'll be teaching you all how to build something that I've been meaning to build for a long time. Now a lot of you guys have been requesting I build more things from Harry Potter. And with being English it's kind of my duty to build some Harry Potter stuff. Uh, so <laughs> today as it's World Book Day I thought I'd go ahead and teach you all how to build one of my favourite ever characters from Harry Potter. Of course, Hedwig. So here we have Hedwig in all her glory. We have got this normal version of Hedwig just here, and then I'll show you the one I've been working on in just a second. So Hedwig here stands tall, uh, not too tall, but um, just enough so that when we do build Harry Potter, there's going to be a big difference between the two, but they'll look, you know, like they go together. I ended up using some birch wood here just to represent the different um, ruffling feathers and uh, try and make the snowy owl look for Hedwig. We also have some talons, are they called talons? Uh, down here for both of the feet. And then of course we have the beak and the big yellow eyes. Let me show you the other Hedwig I've been working on. So there isn't much difference here between my original Hedwig and this one. However, you may notice already we do have a letter for Harry Potter here uh, from Hogwarts, of course. This is kind of like the acceptance letter. So this is going to be uh, in Hedwig's beak there and in her mouth. And then she's going to be dropping it off to Harry's door. Uh, maybe Privet Drive or even just him in the common room or the Great Hall or wherever that he needs a letter from Hogwarts uh, for or a letter from anyone really. We also do include ourselves some uh, layered snow around Hedwig's wings because it does add like a layer again of feathers and it makes it look really really unique for an owl which is awesome. So yeah I'm going to teach you how to build the normal Hedwig and then we'll add in all of the de different you know extra details later for the uh, the letter and the uh, the wings and stuff like that. So it's going to be a cool tutorial. Let's go ahead and get some materials. I'll stop talking and let's just go for it. Oh, you can see the other Hedwig. Let's stop talking. There we go. <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> okay then. So to get us started, we are going to need ourselves some white wool, some birch wood, and some black stone stairs. Now what I'll do, guys, is I'll put the survival. Uh, materials list in the description as well so if you're trying to build this on survival for your Hogwarts world or your Harry Potter world then uh, of course you can do that too okay so we're gonna start just here because this is gonna be in line with my original one firstly I'm gonna stick down a white wall block just here then I'll stick a stair just next to it another white wall a stair and then a white wall then we'll do three white wool across the stairs like so we'll leave a one block gap and we'll do the exact same design like so. Oops, not like so. Like so. <laughs> there we go. Then we want to go ahead and build this up behind for two layers of about five. Like so. And then we'll go ahead and build the five kind of going backwards again. Now we want to try and make the side go along for three. So at the moment we only have two. Let's build this along for another three. Well, to make this three. So we just want to build another layer of five like so. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and start to build this back in. So we're going to come around the back here. I'm going to start on my right side because it's going to be a little bit easier. We'll go ahead and build two. And then we'll do the same over here. Nice and symmetrical, which is always helpful for us in Minecraft. Then we want to go ahead and build two again. And two over here. Now on these two, we're going to go ahead and build this one in here. And this one in here. This one is also going to go up for one. And one, like so. So we sort of have this shape here on the side, which looks pretty good. Then we'll go ahead and build this one out for two as well, like so. Now we can come around the back and build one, two, and then one, two. Build this one in the middle down for one, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and build in here, back from this five, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like so. So you have two feet or talons, are they talons, 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 something rather, owl feet just there anyways, <laughs> looking awesome. If you want to come to the back again now, we're going to start to build this little design in here. So we're going to build this five blocks here along and also out by one as well, like so. This one is also going to raise, raise up um, and go for seven along, but we'll do that in a moment. At the moment we have like a good starting point so I'm going to continue with this and then uh, start to work on the more complicated parts later. So for our next step we're going to outline this shape in here. So if you want to go to these two blocks that are back just from the feet, we'll build up for two, out for two and then out for one. 
So over here again, one, two, out for two, and then the one at the back there. Cool. Now we'll go back around to the right side. It's easier to start on the right just because then we can carry everything around to the left side instead of having to do the other way around. I just find it a little bit easier being mostly right-handed. It's, uh, I don't know, I just find it easier to build on my right side than I do the left, which is odd. You wouldn't think that would be a problem, but yeah, strange. Anyways, let's go ahead and build one, two, just here, and then two again, like so. Then we'll build one, two, then one, two, like so. Then we're going to build two again, and then we'll finish it with a birch on both sides. So we have this shape just here. Then we're going to go ahead and build ourselves three layers of four blocks of uh, white coming out from the birch. Like so. Same on this side. So you can really get the, uh, get the grips of how big the wings come out from the body, which is really cool. Then we'll do two blocks of white again, and then a birch. Two blocks of white, and then a birch again. Then we'll do a single block of white back here on both sides. Now this will determine where the 7 is going to stop for this back part, which is really helpful for us because that means we can finally determine where things are going to be. So if you want to do an entire row of 7 above your 5 down here, and then we'll go ahead and build this up on the side here for 1 and 1, 2 butch in the center like so, 3 white wool to connect the middle, then we'll do 2 layers of 7, white wool like so, then we'll do a block of birch, oops, just here and here, five blocks of white, and then we'll do three rows of seven white wool above, like so. Then we'll come in a block, so on five, we'll go for one white wool and one in the side. Then we'll do a birch and a birch, and then finish it up with a white wool in the middle, like so. In here, by the way, you can do a white wool and a white wool, and then build up with one birch as well, like so. Perfect. Now then, we're going to use the back as our little guide here. We're going to go to these lots of birch, the first ones from the, the floor, basically. We're going to run around the sides here. We'll come to this first gap, we'll place one, and then we'll come out for two. We're going to run around here, one, and then two, like so. So underneath those birch as well. Then we're going to build this one up, just for one, and then out for one. Up for one, and then out for one. Then we want to build this up to the three up here. So we're going to go one, two, three, and the same on this side, one, two, three. Then we'll do a block in here with a block up, a block in here and a block up. Then we want to do a head, uh, do a head, <laughs> go ahead even, placing two and then two up. So we're trying to uh, silhouetting this inside a little bit, like so. Then we want to come up to this gap in here, placing a white wall with a birch. Uh, with a birch, or let me just check. Nope, we'll do another white wall for now. Yeah, that'll be fine. So white wall and white wall, like so. Awesome. Now coming back around to the corner over here, we next want to go ahead and build kind of over this area here. So we're going to come behind this lot of four, and we want to build ourselves down here for one, and then out for one. Then we'll go for birch, white wall, birch again, and then we'll do two white wall to the left. Then we'll do ourselves one block here and one block here of white. Then we'll do another block here with birch and then a block of white wool besides the birch like so. Cool. Let's go ahead and do that on the other side. It's going to get a little bit tricky so definitely stay tuned. So down here, let's start with a white wool, with a white wool. Then we'll do birch, white wool, birch. Then we want to go ahead and build the two white wool across the top. Then we'll do another one here with a white wool. Then we'll do a white wall with a birch and then a white wall to finish it up, like so. Fly back, making sure everything looks symmetrical. If it does, you're ready to move on to the next step. If it doesn't, do not worry. Just pause the video now if you want to and uh, just see where you're, where you're looking with uh, your headwig. And uh, if you have any questions, don't forget you can ask me anything down in the comments below. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead back to this area over here. Below this one, let's stick a white wall so you can stick a birch down below. Let's actually do the same on this side whilst we remember. So over here, we'll do a that one with that one. Oh, have I done it a little bit? No, it just looks different from <laughs> from up close, which is actually the same. That's all right. Phew. Okay, good stuff. Next, we'll go ahead and build ourselves 
an entire row of five white wool, like so. Then we'll do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five, like so. Then we're gonna come out from the five going forward and we'll build a four, five here and one below. So we're actually doing six. So we're gonna go from five from the top, then one below for the sixth one, like so. Then we'll place ourselves a block here. Leaving this block here, we'll build three above. Then we'll go to the other side and do the same. So we'll go for a block here, leave a block and go one, two, three above. Then we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves one with one block down and then we'll build straight up to the top. So we're doing the six basically again. Like so. Now back to this side, we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves one block here. So that is now like a, a plus sign just here. Then we'll build up the three, one, two, and just stick ourselves one block there. So we've got this three just on the corner. Then we wanna build above this one for one and then out for one like so. Awesome, so we built the actual uh, feathers of the wing just here. So over on this left side, we'll come up from the plus here by going one, two, three, four. We'll build a block out just here. And, oh, sorry, not just here. Just here and just here, like so. Just double check they both look identical. That is the main thing. As long as they look identical, then you're on the right tracks. Yeah, that's looking all good. Wicked. Good stuff guys. Okay, let's go around to the front and start to work on Hedwig's belly. So to get us started, we are going to go to the right foot. Well, if we're facing the front, this is actually going to be left, uh, left footed Hedwig over here. We're going to come down here and we'll go three blocks here, leaving them empty to go to this one. We'll do two, then we'll go up and to the right for another one. So we do two again. Then we're going to go ahead and go back and fill in this gap by one. Uh, that's actually do two, just there like so. Let's do the same on the opposite side. So we'll leave this block, so that one there, one, two, one, two, and then two blocks in there, like so. Cool. Then we want to go ahead and build this sort of shape out here in the center. So we're going to go ahead and do one, two, one, and one. Then we'll just fill up the back with two. Then we'll go ahead and build two lots of five, like so. Then we'll do two lots of seven. So we just go out a block on both sides from the five. And then we're going to leave that for now. It's looking good. Okay, we're going to come back to this one over here. We'll build one, two forward. So one, two, just there. And from this one, we want to build up to three. So we already have one. Let's go for two more. And then we'll stick our birch on top, like so. Then we'll do three again. And three this side. And then you can go ahead and build three out the side. So right side, this side, and then left side on this one. So basically away from the stomach. And then we're gonna go ahead and go one block down from the three at the top. So we'll do one, two, three. We'll build two blocks in here. And then we'll go back to the three and we'll add in just two blocks down below. In here, you can add in one, like so. I know that looks a little bit confusing. So we'll go to the other side and do it a bit slower. We'll go over to here and we'll build ourselves one, two, down from the three. Then we'll go to the this lot again. We'll build it in another one. So that's now the three as well. We'll add in two. Then back on this one, one, two blocks down again. Filling in this one for a block, like so. In here, by the way, in this gap, you can go down from the top in here and just build down to block up that area. And you can also add in a block just there, like so or in a little bit further higher just so it looks like there's a, a gap there but either way it'll still look great let's go down to this side and do the same like so and like so awesome making sure everything is filled up nicely there's no gaps and whatever now we'll go into this little gap over here and we'll build this one up for one two three white wall we'll do two and then we'll do a layer of birch just here then back up the top here, we'll add in one block of white wool. And then we'll build this one to birch just here. Then we'll build one, two, three white wool. And then we'll do one more birch here. Like so. That is one wing done. Awesome stuff. Now let's go to the other side and get that done too. So over here, in this little gap that we did before, 
let's build ourselves three blocks of white wool, two blocks out, and then a birch. Three blocks on this next one, and then a birch just here. Back up the top, replace this one with birch, then add in a white wall just here. And there you have two wings ready to go. So Hedwig can now fly, but we of course need to add in the head and the belly. <laughs> let's get that done. On this block here, let's build up the white wall, just so it's in line with the birch on both sides. Then we'll build a birch above it, like so, so it goes up diagonally, but above. Then two blocks of white wool again. Oops, like so. Then we want to go ahead and build ourselves one and then one, one and then one. Bear in mind this one block to connect them will be covered up in a second, but that is fine. And we'll do a second one to connect them again. One and then one, one and then one, like so. Now we can use that as our marker. So we'll take our seven here and we'll build this belly upwards. So it goes past and then to this gap here. Then we want to stop it when it gets to this one, like so. Then we'll build five blocks in again. And then we go ahead and build our three up here for Hedwig's neck, like so. So then we can actually start to work on our head and whatnot. If you want to come down to here and add in a block there and there, and then there and there, you'll now be ready to add in your head. So now you want to grab yourself two more materials, some black stone and some yellow concrete as well. Okay, who is ready to get the face done? Let's go for it. We're going to need to take ourselves our white wall first of all. On top of this three, Let's build out on both sides, so we build three, then we'll just do one on both sides to make it into a five block shape. Now we have a middle block ready for our beak. We'll stick a black um, stone stair just here, with one above. Don't worry, we'll build a letter and whatnot afterwards, so we'll probably have to alter this a little bit afterwards, but for now it's fine. Then we'll build ourselves yellow concrete here for two, either side of the uh, beak. Then we'll go up for two on both outer sides, and then one block back in on yourselves at the top. Then we'll do a black stone block in the center of the eyes, like so. Take your white wool again, go in here and build up just above the eyes like so, then a block on both sides for one. That becomes a T-shape and makes a Hedwig into a Teen Titan. No, <laughs> but it looks like a little bit. Let's go up to the three up here and we'll go ahead and build back. So we'll go to five, like so. Cool. Then we want to go into this little gap down here we'll build two blocks next to the eyes, but miss out the top yellow, like so. Then back from this one, build this into a four block shape by going up and below the two. So now we have a 3D shape, looking good. At the top here, build another three, and that'll be where we stop for Hedwig's kind of height. Okay, now it's just a matter of making this into a 3D shape, which is pretty simple. It sounds a bit difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. So let's go to here, Let's build in another two just here, and then we'll build this one back for about four. Two, so that's now two, yep, three, four, and then we'll go for a five, so we're above the birch. We'll do the same on this side, so we'll do two, one, two, three, and four, so we're above the birch, so that's actually five, like so. Then we'll go ahead and build three up here, and three below. So three below here, and three above. Then we'll come into this gap and we'll build three again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we'll build one on either sides with our white wall and a birch in the center, like so. Then we'll do ourselves three white walls just here and build it up a block as well, up a layer. At the top here, you can fill in the entire head, like so. And we're gonna add in some birch here and here with one block of white wall in the middle. Okay, you can sort of start to see where it's going to angle down now. So behind these two, let's build our four again. So a block below and above. Like so. Then we'll build ourselves, we're going to need to come out again probably. So, let's just take a look at this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build ourselves two again with white wall. And then instead of going for four blocks, we'll do one, two with one below. One, two, one below. And Birch is the fourth one on top like so. Now we'll go ahead and build ourselves down here by going one block of white on both sides with a birch in the center. In this five here, connect it with white wool and build it a layer up as well. Under here as well, you can build in yourself three with three up and here just connect it with one. So let's go ahead and build three with three up and here just fill in that one. 
Back to the top here. Let's fill in the rest of these threes. Going up and above these two barge. So just a layer up. Then here add in one and one block of white there to complete yourself head wig. Awesome. Now let's finally get onto the lasting details of the letter and the extra feathers and whatnot. Let's go for it. So then for the final details of Hedwig, we're going to take ourselves some white carpet, some top snow, some spruce trapdoors, some stripped oak wood, some black stained glass panes, some red banners, and some red wool as well. Okay, firstly, let's jump off Hedwig. <laughs> let's go ahead and take ourselves our stripped oak wood. We'll build from the beak here. We're not going to alter this in any way, which is awesome. I thought we had to like make it come out a little further, but no, we actually just keep it the exact same as normal. Let's go for one, two, and three blocks of oak. Of course, you can change the direction in a cent in a center in a second, like so. And then we'll do ourselves one block, a red wall, and then another block of oak on this side, like so. So that is on the left side when you're looking at Edwig from the front. We'll build these ones on the ends down for about four blocks. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. We'll build down this oak for four. So just add in three. Then this um, red wall is going to go down for the three as well. So it becomes four. We'll fill in ourselves three lots of oak in the center under the beak. Then we'll take ourselves black stained glass panes just here, diagonally to the left of the beak, placing one, two, three, four. And then we'll go to the second glass pane so under the beak and start another four just here. We'll then add in two up here and we'll then take ourselves two more red wool down here to the left of the uh, the main part and then one over here. You can then take red banners sticking one here, one two here, one two down the side and then one two uh, three on the main lot of red just there. Sorry my uh, controller's juddering a little bit there. And then finally take yourself spruce trap doors and go ahead and outline the entire letter just here, even up the sides. Anywhere that you can actually like do it, not in here though, we want to leave that nice and red just there. Send on this side as well. Like so. That should look like a Hogwarts letter from the front. Awesome. Now then the final, final thing to do is to take your top snow and your white carpet and you just want to go ahead and make some more feather designs. So we're actually going to go ahead and take ourselves um, some white carpet on top of the birch because it does look better making everything white carpet and white woolly up the top here. And then we'll fill in the gaps with ourselves some top snow. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of layer up some stuff here. It can be any layer you want. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. So I'm not going to make any up to a block height. I don't want anything to be above what we already have. We're trying to keep the same layer system but we want to go ahead and make sure that it looks a little bit more ruffled and looks like Hedwig has maybe flown through some rain or a bit of a storm or something as well. So we're kind of making this look a little bit more like a realistic snow owl just here. Don't forget your white carpet on top of the birch. Always a cool little detail to add in. Like I said you don't have to go ballistic with the snow but as long as you've got enough in here to make it look like Hedwig from afar, then you're good to go. Check it from the front, looking awesome. And there we go, that is how to build Hedwig in Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching this Wheelie Assassin tutorial guys. I really do appreciate you sticking around until the very end of the video. It has been so awesome to teach you how to build something from Harry Potter. Uh, as you know, Harry Potter is a very, very like English thing and being English and being able to do this for you is just so cool because uh, Harry Potter has been a huge part of my childhood too. So thank you for giving me the opportunity. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like. That'd be awesome. Really greatly appreciate that. And I will be building some more Harry Potter stuff in the future. I'm thinking the Hogwarts Express. That'll be a cool tutorial. Who knows? We'll see what we can do. Uh, or maybe even some more pets. I think we could get ourselves uh, Neville's Toad or Ron's uh, Rat or anything like that. So who knows? Let's go for it. That'd be cool. Maybe even Hermione's cat. Anyways, if you are interested in staying tuned for those tutorials in the future, please consider joining the Assassin Node today for free by subscribing. That'd be awesome. And if you do want to check me out on my social medias, I will be posting some leaks and some, you know, Easter eggs and whatever else over on those. So uh, if you want to check them out, links in the description. 
and uh, you can keep up to date with all the tutorials that will be coming out in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let you guys head off now. Thank you so much once again. Happy World Book Day. Have an excellent rest of your day. Take care. Stay well. Stay safe. And I'll speak soon. Goodbye for now, assassins. Thank you so, so much.